Hey, this is Math Minutes Pro with Dr. Harrison. And today, we're gonna deal with scientific notation. And in particular, we're going to solve some problems that involve converting a number that's written in scientific notation form. We're gonna convert that to standard form. <clears throat> and we're gonna convert a number written in standard form to scientific notation form. So let's go ahead and get started. Here we have a number, 3.5 times 10, and that's to the fourth power. Now, first thing we want to notice is that a number is written in scientific notation if you have one number to the left of the decimal and one or two numbers to the right side of the decimal and then it's multiplied by base 10 with an exponent. That is the official scientific notation form. We use scientific notation for either expressing very large numbers or very small numbers, all right? Large numbers could be the distance between two planets in outer space. Very small numbers could be, I don't know, the diameter of a cell or something like that, okay? But anyway, let's go ahead and uh, perform the math work at hand. Now, <clears throat> the first thing we want to do is we're going to write this number again, 3.5. And now, because this exponent is positive, that's telling us some instructions. And in fact, what it's telling us to do is to move this decimal here to the right in that direction for spaces, all right? So we're gonna go ahead and do that. We're gonna take this decimal, move it four spaces. One, two, three, and four. That's going to be the new decimal. And you see these cups, if you will, here we fill those with zeros, all right? A lot of times students say, I don't know how to show my work. Well, them showing you how to show your work when you are writing a number from scientific notation form to standard form. Now we're going to copy and bring down the numbers. We have three zeros, one, two, three, and then that decimal is right here, but we don't have to write it, okay? And this here is our number in standard form. All right, how do we know it's right? We know it's right because if the decimal's here, if you were to write 3.5 and move that decimal four spaces to the right, you would have 35,000. Very good. So if the decimal were here, it would move four spaces to the right, giving us that standard number. Now we're going to solve a problem that involves converting a number written in standard form, like this, to scientific notation. So this time I'm going to start with a very small number, that's a decimal, 0 0.0045 and 6. Now, first thing we want to do is identify where the decimal is, and because that decimal, because this is written as a decimal with numbers on the right side, okay, we know that the number has to be written in scientific notation form. So the first thing that you're going to do is we're going to uh, write or identify the fact that if we write this number in scientific notation, right, the decimal is going to be here. And in order to make the number in scientific notation, um, equal to the standard form this is what we're going to have to do. So the first thing I'm going to do is write 4.56, okay? So the decimal is here, and to make this number look like that, we'd have to move that decimal three spaces to the left, okay? So that's times 10. 
because we're having to move this decimal three spaces to the left to look like the standard form, that's going to be a negative number, okay? So that's negative three. Very good. A lot of uh, mental math going on in here and thinking about what's going on. So that's what we have. 4.56 times 10 to the negative three. And this is our final answer. Again, the original number was 0 0.00456. If we, were write, if we were to write this number in scientific notation, we'd have to write it as 4.56, one number to the left, one to two numbers to the right, times 10. And to determine the exponent that goes here, we know because it's a decimal, we have to move that number, this decimal right here, or well, point to the left, so it's gonna be negative. We'd have to move it, as you can see here, one, two, three spaces to get from here to this number, so that becomes negative three. So thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to check out my Patreon page on my video description below. On my Patreon page, you can get access to exclusive math lessons, live study tips, Q&A, and more. See you next time.